On today's show, we're going to make a pasta beef casserole recipe. This is going to be so delicious. Real simple, too, and a quick meal to make. We have pasta, as well as ground beef, lots of vegetables, and some sweet peppers. These are going to be so good. And on top of it, it's going to have cashews. So let's get started. back to the Diabetic Diet Show. Our ingredients are tomatoes, cashews, and we're going to grind those up in a minute. I have some sweet red peppers measured out. These are going to be delicious. And for vegetables we have carrots, green onions, which are scallions, and some celery, as well as some ground beef. I have the pasta cooking. We have onions, garlic, some cream, of course salt and pepper. We are starting out with our pasta. So the spaghetti has been cooked already. I boiled the water, followed the instructions on the package, and I have this all set and ready to go. While that was cooking, I cut up onions and got the garlic cleaned because I'm going to run that through my shredder and make it more digestible. So I have a large frying pan and I'm going to put some olive oil in. This particular one that I'm using is garlic mushroom olive oil. This should be really good. Then I'm going to add a little bit of grapeseed oil just to raise the temperature that that would burn. We start the fire on high to get this pan hot. Just like that. Then I can start on my garlic and my onions. So you can use a blender, you can use a chopper. Just start a little at a time. Put a little bit of onions in the bottom, then we'll put the garlic in. That way they don't just sit on the bottom. And pulse it. Very good. Now we don't want to turn these into soup, but yet we do want them all cut up. This is getting nice and hot here. That's about ready to go. And now I have my onions and garlic. Then take my salt, and whenever you're trying to saute up or brown up onions, you want to get some salt on them. Makes a difference, makes a big difference. If you have to, you can add some more oil at this point if you were too dry on them. I have a fairly heavy hand on my oil. I, I like my oil. Now as soon as these turn yellow or translucent, they are done. Just a couple of minutes. You're cooking the harshness out of them. Okay, then I'm gonna pour in some cream. Of course, stir it in, and that's gonna lower the temperature of the pan. We're going to cook up some vegetables here now. I have some olive oil. This particular one is garlic and mushroom. That should be delicious. Just kind of roll it around the pan here. And we're going to throw in our vegetables. Okay, 
Those are so nice. Stackable. These actually are what lunch meat comes in. Makes things easy. Off with the pasta. Down with the vegetables. About 10 minutes. While that's going, I'll work on my tomatoes. I have a pair of scissors. If you see anything you don't like, this is probably a good time to pitch it. Okay, now let's check on these vegetables. They're starting to crisp up a little bit. I have some beef broth that we're putting in here. Gotta cool it off just a little bit, which is okay. For a minute here, get these vegetables out of here. They're all softened up, crisped up, they look wonderful. Now let's put some more oil in the pan. A little splash of our grapeseed oil. And we can do the meat. Pan fire again going. I scored the meat right down the center so it'll be easier to break out. We need to put some salt and pepper on it. And a couple of other things we need to do. We need to cut up our cashews. So you can use a chopper or a blender, anything that will cut them up. I'm using coconut cooking spray today to place of ham. Or it could be white spray paint. <laughs> that would be a surprise. One nice thing about ground beef is when it's done being cooked, it gets quiet. Makes it easy to know when it's done. I'm using a slotted shovel, so if there's any grease that I can get to drip off the ground beef, it will. Okay, I'm putting quite a bit of the ground beef in the bottom, and then vegetables going on top. I have the oven preheating to 350. Okay, 
now we just put this in the oven. Check it in a little bit. Our timer is counting down. I have the pasta and the sauce heating up. I've already turned the stove off and uh, pulled the mix out to cool off just a little bit. This here is finishing up. Let's bring it up here. Looks really delicious. Wow. This is done enough, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that heat off. And we can try to scoop out the noodles. You know how it is with spaghetti. It's Hard to get it to go the direction you want it to. Just like that. And then some of the meat mix. And then we're going to put some cashews right on top, just like that. And then I can move things out of the way here, just like that. And grab another spoon or a ladle, because I want some of this liquid mix. Honestly, what I did here was I used leftover spaghetti from yesterday. I made this in a meal yesterday, and I cooked up the spaghetti with onions, garlic, and heavy cream. So that's the sauce that I'm using. And of course, you can use any kind of sauce on this, tomato sauce, if you want. You could do a butter sauce. But this is what it looks like. So... I hope that you've enjoyed watching the show. I know this is going to be a good hearty meal. And if you'd like to see two more, there's two more.